been depending on oil in the oil era. I mean, before that we were sailing with sailboats or rowing boats, I don't know, we, we got around anyway. So we've had a, a period where we were independent from imported fuels. Then oil came and, and we, were, we, we were hooked on oil, uh, like, like everywhere else, and all the engines and transport meats were, was fed by oil, so we imported quite a lot of oil actually. During the oil crisis in the 70s, we really felt the lack of oil also. So the decision to make an energy island project was very welcomed by the island because we needed the development and also to be independent again. I think it's very, it's, it's very near the heart of the island, it's to be independent. Det var et af de første solfanger, der blev lavet på Samsø. Det er det deroppe. Og det hele, mine tanker, det startede dengang jeg byggede drivhusen. Og havde varmerører derinde, hvor man spurgte op oven på pakrummet. Og om sommeren, øh, det var også vores badeværelse med bruser. Og om sommeren var det ikke nødvendigt at fyre jo. Men rørene, de gav så meget varme, så det var brugt varmt brugsband, uden noget. Det var fint. Og så sagde jeg til mig selv, den dag jeg får et hus, der ligger nogenlunde rigtigt med solen, så skal jeg solvarme. Jeg vil være en halvgravende fyr, øh, gennem 80 år. Snart. <laughs> Og jeg født øh, lidt længere hen ad vejen, er jeg født. This island has been cultivated. You can see that people have been plowing or growing things here or cutting down trees or, or doing things here or putting mounds on hilltops. So, so, so they have, they've had an influence on the landscape uh, ever since the first civilization. When you're talking about wind turbine development, I think it's really important that you invite everybody to participate. You don't kind of invite a very, very uh, exclusive little group of investors. Because then all the neighbors will say, why should we look at, at, at the turbines and not be part of it? So we argued with the farmer saying to them, if you are interested in having your own turbine, you should, you should lease some land to a co-op um, next to your own turbine and invite the neighbors to be owner of the next one. So it takes time to convince the local people we had to talk about what kind of changes we wanted, what vision we had for the future and how we could be part of that. Jeg hedder Jørgen Trandberg og bor på Samsø, og jeg har den her gård med 1500 malkekør, og så har jeg så en mølle herude bag ved gården, og så har jeg så en øh, halv havmølle også, og så har jeg så nogle øh, solceller i Tyskland, og ja. Det der med energien, det er jo ganske naturligt for en landmand. Altså vi havde halmen i overskud, som vi sælger til halmarmværkeren, og og vi har jo markerne, som var gode at stille møller op på, og en mølle og en traktor og en bil, jamen det er mekanik, der kører, som du skal holde øje med, du skal tegne forsikringer, og du skal sælge og købe, og ja. Så det passer mig til min i et landbrug. Jamen på Samsø har vi, har vi gjort det, så må I snakke, og det er teknologien, du kan bare tage den ned af hylderne, så der er sådan set ingen problem i det. The next phase is to say that for the next 10, 15, 20 years we want to go for a fossil free island. I'm, I'm born here. I also kind of feel very much at home here because I recognize the hills and many of the hills in my neighborhood has names. For me it's also like I can recognize all my my different stadiums of my life and uh, I mean it, the landscape is like me it's uh, a rolling hill and, and a lot of different experiences.